Well, I come from Wales, so I do also have a, <laughs> yeah. a, a fondness of the ovine. Um, my parents live in the Glens of Antrim, as you know. I she, do, yes, because they give us a very fine roast dinner. <laughs> yeah, roast They're very, very ho hospitable here in Ireland. Well, roast lamb, though, because that, No, no, because you wouldn't have lamb because it's sheep. Yeah. So when did your sheep obsession begin? Um, I think it was at least when I was a teenager, if not younger. And I must have a collection, master collection of about... So is that the thing sheep? that everybody buys you then at Christmas and birthdays and it's all <laughs> sheep related? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. If it's just like a wee, I get a wee pencil, a wee sheep pencil or a rubber or something like that. And yeah. do you imitate them as well? Oh yes. Can we have a little one? <laughs> that's very good. I'd have to say that's a little on the goat side. Okay, so what do I need to do? Uh, just a little, a little less Deeper? harsh maybe? <laughs> no, that wasn't good. That was all right. That was it's okay. so hard. <laughs> Bah. Bah. Actually, maybe the, the more pronounced one. <gasps> don't, don't. We could <laughs> sing Gerald Barry. <laughs> the second half. That's how we warm up, is by making sheep noises. <laughs> and uh, my one of my best friends comes from Athelum, which is just outside Carnlough. It's a little farm, two and a half miles up a mountain. And that's a sheep farm, it's isn't it? It's a sheep and cow. You've been cattle. lambing with her, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so I've got that must be stuck quite scary, right in. Though. I'm really stuck right in, like James yeah. Harriet. With, with a big... Full arm length. Deal. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, it's really glove. Yeah. <laughs> I did end up with a bit of sheep's placenta stuck in my hair though. Because um, yeah. if it's if the sheep. Ah, the glamorous life <laughs> of a soprano diva. <laughs> Indeed. Um, if it's a difficult birth, you have to swing the the lamb by the hind legs. I swing it in a circle to get the circulation oh, going. So you've done that. Yeah, and um, it. My yeah, God, I didn't realise it's it clearly a woman of many hidden talents. <laughs> and it was actually the first time I did lambing was the day after my birthday, and we'd had a few pints of Johnny Jules, ah, and all the night before, and it pos we didn't even get up to the farm to get changed. That's you're so relaxed about doing it, though. <laughs> we were still in our high heels on the night before we were in the field. Those poor sheep. Now, I don't see wait these. if there's you know there's a wee lamb needs to come out or two or three. Yeah, I think. guess so, but yeah. Well, that's kind of impressive, Eva, I have to say. Now, moving back to more sort of musical areas, um, I know that you um, were always very uh, involved with all your choirs, and that's, is that how you got into music then, with, with being part of your youth choir and things like that? Um, well, Did you have good music teachers? Was yes, that? very good. I just I couldn't shut me up as a kid, you know, I always <laughs> loved music, and in Belfast, when I, where I grew up, um, at the age of seven, in all the primary schools, you get a little music test. Oh. And if you pass it, then you get to learn, in my case, a stringed instrument in our school. Oh, right. um, for like £20 a year. It was all subsidised yeah, by the good. City Council. Yeah. So I learned the cello for years and years and years. And that's. Oh, lovely. And then mum is quite musical, but yeah. she never had the opportunity. She's one of eight. And, right, big um, Yeah, she's six sisters and one brother. So oh. she always wanted to give us yeah, the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So Do your brothers play anything at all? Well, they both used to play violin and piano. Oh, um, you've got a little trio <laughs> Oh they're really musical but yeah your um great. your next project after this i mean almost immediately in fact you're sort of currently rehearsing it as well is um the gilda mm -hmm. in, in rigoletto how's that going uh great it's bet. um i was cast back in january right. so i've been so you've had working a nice on bit it of time. Yeah. yeah and it's it's a, i think it's probably the biggest role for my voice type that i'll ever yeah. have to yeah. prepare and sing and do you love the music you really oh, enjoy it's gorgeous that there's so many good tunes That's like every great. page of turn and it's really nice now putting it together with the other singers. Cause yes, because you've been busy um, re rehearsing your Gilda with, with ex very fine accompaniment, I have to say, <laughs> in our yes. dressing rooms. Yes, Hilary has very kindly accompanied me singing the roles of the Duke, Rigoletto, and all the accompanying yeah. parts as well. Um, singing rah, rah, for double basses and all Because I like to been, take control. <laughs> <it's> been, <laughs> it's, yeah, highly entertaining and very, very useful, I might add. Oh, good. Because there's a bit where I kept it wrong. <laughs> And, uh, oh, and now you will never forget. I always used to forget that word, and then you went, No, it's ba! And <laughs> I will never it will be ingrained forevermore. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's absolutely marvelous. What are you doing for Christmas? Uh, Hansel and Gretel. Oh, so you're on a show over there? Yeah, I'm singing Gretel, I think, of four shows. Oh, so at you don't get back over here at all? Oh, well, actually, I might get back on the 27th oh, of be nice. December, because last year I was doing another show and yeah. um, didn't get home until uh, about the 10th of January. And you get a bit of time so, free. When do you have time free? Do you what do you do apart from going lambing? <laughs> uh, I love heading up a mountain. Yeah. Get the hiking boots on, yeah. catch up with 
the family, you know. Well, there are enough <laughs> fabulous mountains for you to go up, aren't they? Beautiful mm, views yeah. around that, all that coastline that we went. It was just yeah. blissful. We had such we a lovely so time. We were so lucky with the weather as well. Oh, I know. I yeah, know. it was stunning. We really couldn't have picked a better day for it. it was, yeah, we were Absolutely. Mm. Well, Eva, thank you, thank you very much for being my chum Aww, and for being my chum of the month. Aww, and uh, I wish you huge, huge joy, and I hope we work together much yeah, more. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Louis.